So today I'll be reviewing a uh, resin model kit. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, Gundam characters is the Gulf MS-07. Um, this uh, model kit was made by B Club. Uh, B Club is a uh, company that um, makes uh, Gundam uh, resin model kits. Um, it's a little small division of Bandai and uh, Bandai is, uh, is a much bigger division because they make all those uh, plastic kits um, like Master Grays, uh, Perfect Grays. Uh, the series is the origin, is like the first Gundam series but uh, this is a really unique uh, design. I really like this design because um, it really shows uh, how uh, the Gulf can uh, can take a retro uh, look to it. Uh, it's made in uh, 2004 and the price of this uh, model kit is uh, around 148 yen. That's around um, around $175 right now. So here's right the now. front of the box. Here's the other side. So here's the instruction sheet. Um, it's pretty detailed. Uh, shows all the parts that come with the, um, the model. Um, this is a original model kit and it is not a recast. It comes in a special kind of resin and that resin is um, a kind of like a bluish dye. So if you're buying a Gulf Origin 1144 scale, you want to check and see if um, the resin is this kind of color. If it's not this color, then it's a recast. So here's the completed model. Um, there's some extra accessories for this model. Um, it comes with uh, one left hand fist, one right hand with a sword. Let's talk about the proportions. Um, it's pretty proportionate. I think that um, from the front view, it um, looks like um, the head's uh, at a perfect angle and um, the torso and the legs and the arms. It does look um, a little kind of bulky, but um, it's kind of like a, um, a retro style. So here's the front. Here's the left side. Here's the back. Here's the right side. You notice that I have a stand and a um, a pole. Um, this is a fixed pose kit, so there's no adjusting or anything. So it's a fixed pose. The reason why I have this um, um, brass rod is to keep it stable and not fall when uh, doing this review. Um, resin is really delicate and um, it really breaks really easy. So let's talk about the details. Um, if you look at the feet, um, see that little tiny thruster right there? That just looks like a tiny thruster. So I decided that um, I'll modify it. I added a, um, a bigger thruster right here. And also added a bigger thruster in the back. I thought it'll, you know, make it look much better because, um, you know, Thrusters, little tiny thrusters on on the legs doesn't really look too cool. The details of the legs are look really nice. Um, the panel lines are very thin, and um, just has a uh, unique feel to it. The left hand, it's kind of like a um, a five pistol finger hand, and I really like the design. It's um, uh, it's just really straightforward. It's just straight down. It's a uh, really retro style, and I like that a lot. Also, the shield um, has a very simple design. It looks really nice. Also, love the details on the back of the shield. Um, I painted this silver, and it really brings out um, the shield details. On the right hand, um, this is one of my favorite um, details of the of this whole kit. It is the um, it's kind of like a little tiny fat hand with a big long whip it really shows how um, B Club and then uh, the sculptor um, decided to really hide the whip meaning that the whip will come out from the hand directly to the bottom 
and when it goes back, it goes in back into the hand. They really thought of that, and it shows uh, the details in, on the right hand. For the middle area, I decided to modify it more. See this part right here? It's very thin. I thought that, that didn't look right. I thought it would be a little thicker because um, this wiring harness on the side of his waist is connected here. It kind of looked weird, so I decided to uh, add a couple uh, millimeters higher. You'll see that um, on the model. It looks much better. It's a couple millimeters higher. So I thought that was uh, a negative thing about the model kit. And I put it on myself just to modify it. For the chest area, um, some of the details have a little tiny um, machine gun right here, like a full machine gun. It has a kind of like a exhaust system right here. Also, I decided to add and modify some more parts. I added some screws, four of them. One, two, three, four. I thought that would make uh, it more intricate. Small details make it look much uh, bigger in size. For the head, they had a resin casted um, cord, which I didn't really like. I thought um, it wasn't didn't have much detail in it, and um, just didn't have a feeling of wires connected to his head. So I decided to uh, modify it too. So I added um, some um, metal hydraulic um, details to it. Uh, each piece is um, a single piece run through a wire. So it, there's a wire in the middle of these both of these pieces. Also the head um, it was one piece. Um, I put on myself to drill a hole in the middle and there's a mono eye. Also I also added um, plastic film so it looks like the mono eye is inside the cockpit of the head. Um, it lights up. Um, I'll show you right now. For the details on the backpack, uh, it's just a normal backpack with um, two boosters. I wanted to uh, put a battery in the back because I drilled a hole from the head down. There's a, like a compartment there. But um, I wasn't able to find a uh, small battery compartment that would fit. And I decided to wire it. The wires are sticking on the bottom. You, c you won't be able to see it. Um, I, I will need to clip the wires on the back and run the wire down to a battery compartment and LED lights will light up. For the details on the shoulders, um, it's really um, just normal details. Uh, kind of old school, you know, horns and stuff like that. Kind of curved on the side and sharp. And I, I didn't really modify it because it looked good already. And um, I thought it just, it just fit the model pretty well. Here's a size comparison of a bottle of Crystal Geyser Alpine Spring Water. One of my favorite waters I drink. For the paint, um, I use a variety of different paints. Um, it's like a dark blue right here. Right here. Also use a uh, a darker blue on the chest area, and a um, a lighter blue on the arms, and um, a very darker blue on the feet. I use silver highlights for the internals, the whip, and uh, also the machine guns and the back of the shield. For the back, um, I also use um, the nice silver for the thrusters. And uh, the shield is all blue too. Uh, I decided to make it a, a blue color scheme because it was golf. And that's one of the um, color schemes that uh, I decided to uh, color it. The drawback was um, I should have um, 
made it the uh, horns um, silverish. I kind of like that much better. But uh, I was very happy of the the color that I used. I used a airbrush, and um, and that turned out pretty well. Um, well, the quality of the resin was um, was really easy to work with. Um, the sprues and uh, and the seam lines, um, you had to sand it off. Um, each part had a little bit of seam line, and, and you had to sand a lot off. Um, it's no warping or anything like that. But uh, the bad thing about this model is the um, the fits, the fitting of the model itself. It had a really, really tough time um, fitting it all together. I had to wire it up. The wires are just from top to bottom. Um, it didn't fit at all. So there's gaps between the body and the legs and everything like that. Uh, the design of the model was that great. Everything didn't fit together well. Also another negative thing about um, this kit was the, the price tag. Uh, it's almost $160. And with shipping it cost me almost $200 to import it to America. This is an original kit so um, I like building originals. I don't Another negative thing about this model is the, the accessories. Um, I mean, even though they came with uh, the extra fist and also the extra uh, the sword, I, I didn't really need to use it because it, uh, I really liked the, the original, you know, the hands and the, the whip. It just looks much better and they didn't, you know, need to give that. Well, a lot of the parts, uh, the part count of this kit was pretty high, so it took a while to build, almost uh, a month, and um, I pretty much uh, really had a really fun time building it. Positive thing about this kit is uh, if you like the retro style and the design, and kind of like a like a more realistic in a way, um, like uh, the thicker hand where the whip is hidden, uh, the big. Um, you know, five finger guns and uh, and the retro style head. You probably like to pick this up and uh, get a go at it. But I uh, just want to let you know that uh, the building process of this was uh, very hor hor horrifying. Um, it was really hard to build, and um, that's that's a really bad thing about this kit. Uh, you need to really pay attention and. Make sure that everything's stable before you uh, attempt to paint it. I hope you like this review and um, please do um, subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my future reviews. And